There's a problem nowadays with people looking for a new job and unless you personally recognize it, you won't have much chance versus other more aware candidates. Over the past year, I personally spoke to 50 job seekers and coached another dozen ones and I noticed an interesting trend in most people's job search problems. Most of them focus on the resumes way too much. And in this video, I want to explain why your resume is not the silver bullet you wish it would be, but simply just one piece among a much more complicated puzzle. I have a simple process I go through when talking with potential clients. I ask them what I call qualifying questions to make sure they have job search problems I can help them solve. So among my questions, I ask them what is their number one challenge right now and most of them say, I don't get any interviews or when I apply, I never get feedback from companies. Let me know in the comments if this is familiar to you because it was for me. Those are fair problems, but what it makes it interesting is what follows. I then ask them, what have you tried already on your own to solve this problem? And wait for it, the majority of their answers revolve around their resume. Most people will tell me they tweaked their resume, tried adding keywords from the job posting, tried making their resume one page versus two, changed templates a few times, but somehow, nothing worked. What they assumed is if they stumbled into the perfect resume writing formula that they will get all the interviews they want. The only problem is this stat from Glassdoor which I already showed on this channel. Out of 250 resumes submitted, on average only 4 to 6 will get the interview which is around 2% of applicants. I even talked to business owners like Jesse who appeared in my channel a couple of months ago and he told me he receives way more resumes than that. And bigger companies like Google or Apple receive more than a thousand. So I'm pretty sure even less than 2% get interviews there. So clearly there is something odd with these stats. I can understand that, let's say, more than half of people have crappy resumes, but I can't wrap my head around the fact that only 2% have stellar resumes. I'm pretty sure many people had amazing resumes but got rejected for other mysterious reasons. And this is what I want to talk about because the reality is a good resume is not enough to land an amazing job. A job that can truly change your day-to-day -day life, whether it's financially or growth-wise. If you want to land a job that will give you the conditions you deserve and the salary worth changing your life, you will need to focus on other elements than your resume. I like to compare the feeling of signing an offer to eating the best pasta you've ever had. For that to happen, you will need to make the pasta using a specific recipe, right? If the offer is the pasta, then the job search strategy is the recipe. If you want to make the best pasta possible, you will need key ingredients like fresh pasta, cheese, olive oil, shrimps, and garlic. Try making pasta without cheese and olive oil, you will still get pasta, but it won't taste that good. And job searching is the same. If you try to job search with a good resume, but without the other important ingredients, yes, you will be job searching, but at a less efficient level and getting way fewer results than what you would hope for. By the way, I tried to think of the best possible metaphor. Let me know if you connected with the pasta one. So what are the other ingredients I mentioned you need to have a successful job search? For that, yes, number one, you will need a good resume, but we all know that at this point. The second ingredient you will need is a stellar LinkedIn profile. If you're surprised when hearing this, know that candidates with comprehensive LinkedIn profiles have 71% more interviews according to ResumeGo. And it's not hard to understand why. Your LinkedIn profile is the public page where you can go a little deeper into your experience. Your resume has only one purpose, getting the interview. But your LinkedIn profile has another one, telling your career story and how it connects to the role you're applying for. It helps you present yourself as an expert in your industry and add valuable information to why great companies should pay attention to you. And additionally, if well optimized, your LinkedIn profile serves as a one-stop station for recruiters to find you and offer job opportunities. One of my past clients got a message from a recruiter only a week after we both optimized his LinkedIn profile, leading to a six-figure offer, which he declined ultimately, but we can talk about that in another video. The next ingredient is having a job search roadmap. One of the questions I like to ask job seekers is walk me through your job search routine and most of them will tell me they wake up browse on indeed or linkedin and spot interesting jobs some others will tell me they sign up for notifications when a new job with their role opens up and this is good if you want any job but if you want the best jobs out there you will need to be more active than that and that starts with not letting job search websites give you job suggestions but finding your own and focusing on them so what i usually do is craft a personalized job search plan with a list of companies i want to target and then focus on them only. Now that I have my company list, I will create a job search routine using habit creation techniques. I talk about those in much greater detail in another video, so I will put a link here or in the description if you wanna watch it. Here's a broad example. 
I will work on my job search every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. just before starting my day job. A more precise one would be, this week, I will reach out to three employees from my top five companies on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. just before starting my day job. If you have specific actions with specific targets within a specific time paired with another activity you're already doing, it will be easier to job search and you will be more likely to not give up when things get hard. And talking about reaching out to people, the last and biggest ingredient you need is ingredient number four, networking with actual employees from your target companies. And this is the last ingredient that will bring your pasta from good pasta you do at home to pasta you eat at a five-star restaurant in Italy. So remember when I said you need to be more active? Well, this is part of it. You will need to reach out to current employees from the target companies you've established before formational interviews. Not to ask them for a job at first, but simply to know more about their careers, their job, and the industry. And then once you have a relationship formed with these people, then you can ask for a referral or help. This takes time and that's why I recommend this as an ongoing process at the same time as writing your resume, creating your LinkedIn profile, and even when you're not looking for a job. I personally have regular conversations with recruiters and people from my industry, even when I'm not looking. These relationships will play a huge role when it's time for you to find your next opportunity. And there you have it. You see how your resume alone is insignificant in front of all the other key ingredients that make a job search a great job search. If you have to remember just one thing out of this video, it's this, stop obsessing over your resume. Try to write it the best you can, where you sell your experience, where your bullet points are actually accomplishments and not just descriptions of your tasks and then move on. Focus on the other ingredients. The reality is, from my own experience job searching and from coaching others, people land jobs from different circumstances. I have clients who got jobs through online applications because yes, they had great resumes. I have other ones who got interviews through recruiters on LinkedIn, and I have others who got jobs using informational interviews and referrals. Some actions will lead to faster results for one person, but not the other, uh, simply because of timing, the industry, the role. That's why a good job search strategy has all the ingredients you need uh, to make sure you're open to any opportunities that can come your way. Every ingredient builds upon the last one until you reach a level where you will land consistent opportunities in your career. And as the saying goes, you're not lucky, you put yourself in a position to be lucky. And this is exactly what we're trying to do. If you're interested in career coaching and knowing more about the job search strategy that I outlined in this video and that got amazing jobs for my past clients, then let's chat. I have left a 15 second form below in the description and then I'll reach out to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe for more uh, career content, and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.